r slash ask reddit by reddit and chill. What is the dumbest way to die you could imagine? My uncle was driving home drunk, rural France in the 90s. Was pretty much allowed, got out of his truck to take a piss but didn't put the handbrake on and the truck rolled back and crushed him. Wasn't found for 12 hours. Still not sure how much of that he would have been alive for to contemplate how his life ended. At least he died relieved. The cold open to the 6 feet under episode in case of rapture has to be a contender. A very religious woman. Dorothy Shady. Sees dozens of bodies rising up into the air. Assuming that the rapture is upon us and she's about to be called back to Jesus. She runs joyously out in the middle of the street. Where she's promptly flattened by a car. Turns out. They're actually sex dolls that were filled with helium to be props during the AVN awards that were released when the netting holding them onto the back of a truck came loose. Weird glitch on mobile where the link was visible through the spoiler block on dark mode. Accidentally shooting yourself with a bow and arrow. It's happened at least once. The arrow lodged in the bow. And while he was leaning over to look. The arrow was released. He died the next day. Of embarrassment. Getting shot with a nerf gun in the mouth and inhaling the dart. Remember kids it's nerf or. Russian roulette with a semi-automatic pistol. Russian roulette with a fully automatic pistol. Trying to trade Pokemon card with someone over the internet. Meeting up. They kidnap you. Kill you and take all your Pokemon cards. Go to catch em all. Choking on your own dong. Edit. THX for my first silver and gold. That's why small parts usually get a choking hazard sticker. Respawning at the bonfire and falling into an elevator shaft in your haste to go reclaim your souls. T. I trip. Fall. And crack my skull open fleeing from a snail hell bent on killing me. Unfortunately. It was just a decoy snail. The real snail was waiting by the tripping hazard. You shouldn't have taken that 10 million dollars. While taking a shit and reading reddit. Holy shit I'm shitting and reading comments right now. Relying solely on alternative medicine and diet changes while your treatable cancer progress is past the point of no return. We had a thread about oncologists here. It was so ducking depressing. Way too many people get a diagnosis. Told they're not great bots. Scream the doctor must be wrong bankrupt themselves on quackery, come back in god awful shape, and beg the doc to save them when they're terminally ill. Shit like that makes me think alternative medicine should be outlawed. Dress up like a moose during hunting season. Disturb a nest of wasps for no good reason. Stand on the edge of a train station platform. Drive around the boom gate at a level crossing. Run across the tracks between the platforms. They may not rhyme but they're quite possibly the dumbest ways to die. Dumbest way to die. Randomly swallowing a tortilla chip hole on accident. Cutting open your esophagus causing you to suffocate. I don't think that you could actually cut an esophagus with a chip. Sure scrape it maybe. But it's probably about as hard to cut a skin and I don't think you can cut skin with a chip. Disagreement with a pigeon escalating to violence. Yep. That's almost certainly how I'll die. In all likelihood. Things would start off innocently enough. I'd spot some discarded french fries. Attempt to retrieve one for myself. And then have to clumsily dodge as a smudged sneaker was aimed at my midsection. A brief scuffle would ensue. Wherein I'd keep trying to get past the kicks in order to secure my dinner. While my adversary grew more and more agitated. A near miss would finally set my blood boiling. And I would decide that retaliation was more important than sustenance. I'd take to the sky. Dive bombing my aggressor. All the while preparing a noxious payload to be dropped. Its eventual deposit on the head of my opponent would catch them off guard. Given that most people still believe the myth that pigeons can't poop while flying. We can. Unfortunately. My aim wouldn't be especially good. And I'd wind up splashing an innocent onlooker. This second person would join the fray. Their howls of fury matching those of my original assailant. Wild punches would be thrown. With half of them accidentally striking other passers-by. And the violence would blossom into an all-out brawl between the humans. Then. As I was flying away. Laughing as only a pigeon can. 
I'd get distracted and smack into a window. Something sex related. People may laugh at you for losing a pigeon fight or making a stupid TikTok or shooting your eye out with a Nerf gun. But can you imagine the uncomfortable silence whenever someone mentions the guy who carted from putting too many light bulbs up his ass? Can you imagine living your whole life only to have all your achievements overshadowed by the fact that you fell out of a sex swing? Slipped on a pile of fecal matter? And impaled yourself on a two foot long dildo? It'd be tragic. But people would be too mortified to realize it's tragic. Because honestly. Who wants to be the guy who put maggots in his ass and died from it and had it aired to the public after his death? You'd fade away. A shameful secret only shared by false preaching abstinence. Two Scotsmen were sitting on top of a hill that overlooked their small village. During a break in the conversation. One man lets out a sigh as he's looking down at his village. And his friend asks him what's wrong. Look at that town down there. He replied. You see the bridge crossing the river that leads into our village? I built that bridge with my own two bay hands. But do they call me McGregor? The bridge builder? No. And you see the church in the middle of our village. Overlooking the square? Well I built a church with my own two bay hands. And do they call me McGregor? The church builder? No. He pauses. And looks over at his friend. Beduck one goat. <laughs> to me. The dumbest way to die is to have some kind of accident while doing something lethally illegal. Getting mauled and eaten by lions while trespassing in the lion pen. For instance. The hell did you think was going to happen? I saw this scenario on Twitter and it inexplicably cracked me up. Me. So. I have to fight one of these things? Zookeeper. What? No. Me. I choose. The polar bear. Zookeeper. Dot. Why would you choose that? Heart attack after finding out you won the lotto. Not getting vaccinated. Everyone who would be offended by this is. NVM. For me. Personally. Not locking out a machine and being electrocuted because I was too stupid to turn it off or because I didn't put a lock on the power source and someone else turned it on while I was working on it. Lock out. Tag out. Test to confirm. I still have to remind people at my job. A rabbit attacks you to death. Pummeling you with a living wasp. A rabbit attacks you to death. What's he do? Nibble your bum. He's got huge sharp. He can leap about. Look at the bones. What are you gonna do? Shoot me? Get shot. Bragging about how strong the windows are in your office building. And charging at them to prove their integrity. Until the one time it finally gives way and you go crashing many floors to your death. Imagine such a ridiculous situation. Oh wait. You don't have it. It happened. And as you fall in confusion you notice the window pane intact and it was the window jam that popped out and you are relieved. Alright. So. You know those packets of silica gel that show up inside boxes for electronics? The packets which specifically say do not eat on them? Someone particularly stupid might decide to make a dish using those packets contents as the primary ingredient. This same person might then bring that dish to their holiday potluck. Intent as they were on poisoning the middle manager with the overinflated ego who keeps calling everyone skippy for some reason. Then. As the alcohol began to flow and unwise choices involving the office printer started to be made. Our would be murderer might be gripped by a sudden sense of unbridled fury. Throwing caution to the wind. They might grab hold of the still full cast iron pot that they had used to transport their toxic offering. Hold it above their head. And then charge at the weaselly moron who had psychologically tortured them all year. As a result of their inebriated state. Though. This modern day berserker might lose their footing. Slip backwards. And end up braining themselves with their own weapon. In the aftermath. That obnoxious woman from human resources might decide to sample some of the spilled food. That would be the dumbest way to die. BTW those little packets aren't poisonous. They just get really big when they get wet. So you would live. You just need to go to the hospital and have them try to pump the expanded gel bead things out. You'd have trouble combining them with anything that could make a dish and having the beads not expand. But if you did. You would have to eat a lot of it to die. Choking on my own saliva. 
I heard about a woman who was walking with a drink that had a metal straw. And she tripped and jammed the straw through her eye. Hitting her brain and killing her. I know it's sad but you have to agree that dying from being impaled by a straw is pretty dumb. Recording yourself for TikTok. Playing Pokemon Go. Meme. Along Johnson. Start strumming guitar. Set fire. To your hair. Poke a stick at a grizzly bear. Eat medicine. That's out of date. Use your private parts as piranha bait. Do em ways to die. So many dumb ways to die. Do em ways to die ie ie. So many dumb ways to die. Get your toast out with a fork. Do your own electrical work. Teach yourself how to fly. Eat a two week old unrefrigerated pie. Dumb ways to die. So many dumb ways to die dumb ways to die ie ie. So many dumb ways to die. N-O-S-E-A-T-B-E-L-T. I read this as nose at belt. Death by abnormally large pants trousers for you. Drowning in cum. Accidentally shooting yourself with a balloon. Plenty of people each year die taking selfies. What a hilariously pointless and vapid way to meet your demise. But alas. It does empty the shallow end of the gene pool. Did they get the shot though? Driving though a red light and being hit by a truck. Stupid humans think it won't have any consequences. IKD you should check out some of the Darwin Award winners. There are many worthy contenders who have made humanity a better place. John Allen Chow. A self-proclaimed world explorer inspired by Livingston and Jesus. Was killed by the very tribe of natives, uncontacted, he was offering eternal life. True story. Via DarwinAwards.com link. I like. He'd been there before. 2. They shot his bible out of his hand. So he turned around and left the first time. Going to take a shit and get a sword shoved up my butt by a viking hiding in my toilet. Choking on food seems pretty stupid if you think about it. We've had all this time. Why the f do we keep screwing this one up? Like. Come on. I've had a lifetime of practice. Why go wrong this one time? Taunting a bison. Of a preventable disease as an anti-vaxxer. A little late. But a woman in my town died last week by participating in an eating competition. The competition was. Who can eat a set amount of a certain local pastry? Apparently she was drunk beforehand and ended up stuffing so much of the pastry down her throat at once that I took here. IDK if that's exactly what was injured, broke. Because of lack of oxygen. Before she arrived at the hospital she suffered so much brain damage she had to be put in an artificial coma and on life support. She died two days ago. Choke on snot while you sleep. The guy who tried to stop a bullet with a dictionary for a YouTube video. He died. His girlfriend, she was the one who shot, went to jail and their three kids were taken away. TBF the girlfriend was very against the stunt. Jojo's Bizarre Adventure Part 4 Last Episode. Ducking like and subscribe.